people shouldn't go hungry, not in America. What I love about the Community Kitchen is that we take amazing staff, amazing and dedicated volunteers, we bring them together to create nutritious meals and serve those that are most in need in our community. A lot of times the folks that we feed, you know, are struggling and going through things. It's nice if we can have a smile and warm food for them. People that we serve come from all walks of life. We serve primarily people experiencing homelessness, people that are in shelters, but we also serve people that are seniors or veterans or families. The Community Kitchen serves 102 to uh, 200,000 meals a year. Lunches and dinners, Monday through Saturday, every week, all year long. The volunteers are our biggest asset. They come in and prepare meals alongside of our staff they serve the meals and they also help clean up after meals. I'm part of the Sacred Heart um, Church group and we come in on Thursdays. My official role is, uh, I think they call it crew leader, but in reality I follow the ladies around and basically do what they ask. <laughs> Can you fetch this? Can you do that? Uh, I help uh, <clears throat> prepare the meals and serve, but I've been doing it for about 28 years. I'm just a helper. I am not a cook. In fact, I'm a terrible cook. And I just do whatever Turtle tells me, which is just cutting dishes. I'm very good at doing dishes. I can do dish clean, I can clean. I'm not for hire, but I can do that. It feels good to participate in something that's definitely easing the pain of being on the streets, I, I feel, you know, it's just by providing one simple meal. I have a son. He suffers from um, some mental issues and uh, he's homeless, you know, and so that, there's always a story behind, you know, a lot of people will say, well, you know, once they get a job and I tell him, you know, don't judge them. You don't know why they're homeless. There's different stories. There's different reasons why. We had a, a, a guest that um, lost their home, was living in their car, was unable to um, obviously feed themselves. We were able to uh, take the weight of at least a hot meal. And you do recognize some of the faces and it's, you know, um, somebody came when she was um, pregnant and now she comes with the baby. Oh, let's see the baby. How's the baby? Or, oh, the puppy. You know, we serve dog food and cat food, you know. So, oh, he's so cute. And it's just recognizing that you are here. You're not invisible. And I think that's one of the good things that we are able to provide. I know this is important for us and for the community. We don't need people going without food. This is America, and people shouldn't go hungry in America. We need to take care of our own.